From Lionel Messi clocking 20.2 miles per hour to Gareth Bale beating Usain Bolt's top speed, these are the top 10 fastest footballers in the world. First up, Lionel Messi can manage an impressive 20.2 miles per hour. The Messiah has spent years cementing his legacy as one of the greatest to play the game. And while he might not be the speediest guy on the field, it ain't easy running this fast when you're the main playmaker on the team. One of Messi's most crucial skills is his ball control, but despite the pristine dribbling and flawless passing, he's still able to burst past defenders like it's no big deal. The GOAT makes it look easy, but something tells me y'all want to know how his main rival stacks up. I'm talking about Cristiano Ronaldo, of course, and both players have countless supporters in their camp. You can argue that Messi comes out on top in other areas, but if you want to talk pure speed, Cristiano Ronaldo is the clear winner with 21.1 miles an hour. Some Messi fans might be upset about this, so let me just say, the stats don't lie. CR7 has some insane acceleration, and at his top speed, he can run at a little over 21 miles per hour, making him edge just past Lionel Messi most of the time. Now, this is just his average top speed, and some say that Cristiano's managed to run even faster than this on occasion, but he's not known for being a sprinter. Just like his rival, Cristiano's main claim to fame is his precision and control. And it makes sense that he's not at the top of the rankings in terms of speed. It's actually pretty surprising that someone Ronaldo's age is able to run this fast, so this is a testament to his discipline as a player. Then again, most players in their prime can run way faster than Ronaldo and Messi, like Vinicius Jr., for example. Just so you know, the young Brazilian reached speeds of 21.4 miles an hour after making his debut. To be fair, he was literally born in the 21st century, and his youthful energy is bound to give him a bit of pep in his step. Junior's been an absolute godsend for Real Madrid, especially now that Ronaldo's moved on to greener pastures. Something tells me they'll do just fine with Vinicius zipping through every player on the field, because even when he's running like his life depends on it, he's still able to navigate close-quarter face-offs without missing a step. I can't wait to see where he goes from here because he's still in his early 20s, which means he has at least five years of prime athleticism ahead of him. He might even equal some of the other players on this list at some point, but for now, Marcus Rashford is just one of many players that can run circles around him, because the Man U striker's demonic speeds are no joke. At his fastest, Rashford can run at just under 22 miles an hour, or 22.33 to be exact. That's how he's been able to make over 200 goals in his club career so far. Defenders just don't know what to do when Rashford hurdles towards them like a train, and if they leave even the smallest of gaps, he surges past them before they even realize what's happening. More than anything, Rashford sets himself apart with his sudden bursts of speed. An opponent might trail just behind him for a while, but the guy can accelerate out of nowhere and leave them in the dust. He showed his true potential by scoring a goal in that World Cup game against Wales, even though he still wasn't able to take his team to the final. Marcus, congratulations. Your two goals have just helped England into the knockout stages of the World Cup. How good does that feel? Yeah, it's obviously a, a great feeling. Um, you know, to be honest, we was a, we was a little bit disappointed as a, as a team after the, the last game against USA. Um, you know, I thought we could have played a, a lot better. And the only way to, to you know, bounce back from that is to, to have a good performance in your next game. And I, I thought we'd done that. We all know what went down in the most recent World Cup. And one of the most central players for the runners-up happens to be even faster than Rashford. The one and only Kylian Mbappe can cross 22.4 miles an hour. And he hardly breaks a sweat while he does it. Now, despite his best efforts, Mbappe couldn't win France the World Cup back in 2022. But I'd say he deserves all the praise in the world because he was the only one that kept Argentina at bay until the bitter end. Kylian's a real sprinter too, with his fastest measured speed coming in at 22.41 miles per hour. And you could certainly see that as he gave Messi's Argentines a run for their money. Like if Mbappe hadn't been around, Argentina might have gotten an easy win. His immense speed and power forced them to work for it instead. And it made for one of the most thrilling World Cup finals I've ever seen. All right, that's the bottom five out of the way. It's time to get to the five fastest players in the world right now. Starting with Erling Haaland, with a top speed of 22.5 miles an hour. This might just be my opinion, but he's kind of like the CR7 of Norway. I mean, he's carved out a niche for himself thanks to his superior individual skills, but he'll never be able to win a World Cup because his national side just isn't a match for the likes of Germany, 
Brazil, or even England. That said, he's still gotten his fair share of accolades, and he proved his mettle by starting his Man City stint off with six goals in 10 games. The young players still got at least a decade of top-notch football left in him, so it's safe to say, his current top speed is just the tip of the iceberg. Moving on, Alfonso Davies comes in fourth with 22.68 miles an hour. He might just be the fastest player in the Bundesliga, so Bayern Munich clearly did a good job by signing him on. His blinding speeds have helped his team hold on to their status as Germany's greatest team, but I don't want to make him seem like a sprinter with no other skills. He's able to balance his defensive responsibilities even when he needs to move up the field, allowing him to excel as a left-back or left-winger based on the need of the hour. Davies is living proof that strikers aren't the only ones that can sprint. Defenders need to be able to keep up, too. Although in Alfonso's case, his opponents are the ones usually playing catch-up. It takes someone like Mo Salah to outrun him, aka one of the greatest right-wingers Liverpool's ever had. Salah can hit 22.74 miles an hour on his best day, which explains how he broke Liverpool's record for most goals in a season right after debuting. Honestly, he's so fast that it can be hard to keep track of him on the field almost like you're trying to capture a lightning bolt in all its glory. I couldn't rank him any lower than third place, but the thing is, there's one other player that can equal his pace, Barcelona's Adama Traore. Sure, the move to Barca wasn't exactly the best decision for his career, but one thing that hasn't changed is his speed. He's the only player that can match Salah in a race, apart from a certain somebody that got the top spot. The fact that he's so huge makes his speeds all the more impressive, because watching someone so buff gallop towards you is enough to make even the steeliest defender think twice. Just like Salah, 22.74 miles per hour is Adam's fastest speed too, and coupled with his intimidating build, it makes him one of the most formidable players in the game. Now, Traoré might be fast, but even he can't hold a candle to the speediest player of all time. There's only one guy that deserves the top spot on this list, Gareth Bale, who somehow sprinted faster than Usain Bolt back in 2013. You heard that right. While playing against Villarreal, the Real Madrid sensation ran a stunning 24.79 miles per hour. Just for context, Usain Bolt broke the 100-meter sprint record by running 23.35 miles an hour. So Bale's not just the fastest football player out there, he might also be the fastest man alive. Of course, Bale probably can't keep that pace up for as long as Usain. The Olympic gold medalist sustained the speed for nearly 10 seconds while Bale only managed it for the blink of an eye. But that doesn't change his historic accomplishment. I seriously doubt any other footballer will come close to this record anytime soon, although many of the younger players on this list might take the crown from him when they hit their peak. Until then, from Lionel Messi clocking an impressive 20.2 miles an hour, to Gareth Bale's absurd sprint that surpassed Usain Bolt's record-breaking speed, these were the top 10 fastest footballers in the world.